Wildlife, an American treasure. Its conservation and protection is the mission of our National Wildlife Refuge System. Within this system, there are more than 500 National Wildlife Refuges. All 50 states have at least one, each with its own character. In the U.S. territories, there are many more. From sea to shining sea, the National Wildlife Refuge System creates a network of vastly different yet vitally connected lands and waters. With more than 93 million acres under the care of the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the refuge system is unique. It is the only network of federal lands and waters specifically dedicated to fish, wildlife, plants, and the precious places they need. In addition to the refuges, there are thousands of other special wildlife management areas within the system. More than 3,000 of these special areas are managed for migratory ducks and geese. In all, our national wildlife refuges, waterfowl production areas, and other unique habitats are managed as a system, protecting some of our most spectacular and valuable natural lands. The system preserves virtually every kind of landscape found in the United States, and it is vital to conserving our wildlife inheritance. America's National Wildlife Refuge System came into being with the dawn of the 20th century and was born out of a need to protect wildlife from senseless slaughter. Market hunters were harvesting migratory waterfowl with deadly efficiency. Feathers were in fashion, and in order to meet the demand for plumage, many species of bird were being shot into extinction. In 1903, on Pelican Island in Florida's Indian River Lagoon, conservationists took a stand against the waste of wildlife. Theodore Roosevelt established America's first federal sanctuary for the protection of birds. From this one island sanctuary there grew a network of refuges that protects countless other living things and preserves our rich biological heritage. But refuges are more than simply islands for wildlife cut off from the world around them. They are connected by land, water, and air to the places where we live, work, and play. They are a part of all the living things around us. Often they are the central connecting piece the crown jewel of ecosystems that gives us the essentials for life. And they are a part of the greatest ecosystem, our Earth. Wildlife refuges provide stepping stones of habitat, essential for birds and other animals, as they make their annual migrations between nesting and wintering grounds. Special care and protection are given to threatened and endangered species. National wildlife refuges protect about one-fourth of all the species found on the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's endangered species list. Those plants and animals on the brink of extinction. Without refuges to give them secure places to hold their own or increase their numbers, hundreds of these species would disappear forever. All wildlife, from the most endangered to the most common, find what they need within the National Wildlife Refuge System. Supporting all these animals are plants. Plants of every description, 
turning sunlight into food and shelter, filling every botanical niche, and enriching many biologically rare ecosystems. On these lands, the needs of wildlife must come first. But refuges are for people, too. They hold mystery and wonder. Refuges are places for learning and enjoyment. Their wildness lifts our spirits and stirs our souls. Some refuges are pristine wilderness. Others are carefully managed to provide maximum food and shelter for wildlife. Managing these lands and waters for wildlife takes hard work by a lot of people dedicated to conservation. It will need continual care, constant growth, and the skill, ingenuity, and technology of wildlife management professionals. It will continue to need good neighbors and helpful communities working alongside the Fish and Wildlife Service to provide food and shelter for wildlife. It will take leaders with courage and conviction. And for wildlife that knows no boundaries, it will take even more cooperation between federal, state, tribal, and local governments that manage lands and enforce the laws that protect wildlife. It will take private individuals and organizations with diverse backgrounds, interests, and ideas, but all with a common love of wildlife and a commitment to conserving and protecting these cherished natural treasures, treasures that we can see, touch, and feel, treasures that we can all enjoy treasures that sustain our vital wildlife connections. America's National Wildlife Refuge System, where wildlife comes first. <laughs>